Hello. Welcome to Dan Explains It All. Today we're going to talk about Reflector V3. It's a new version of our Reflector Chorus. So the Reflector's been out for a couple years. It's got some good sounds in it, but over those couple of years, we've just wondered what else could it do? Could we tweak it? Could we make it do other stuff? This is that. So it's got three modes. Top mode is a pitch shifted chorus. Middle mode adds a reverb that comes before your chorus. And bottom mode adds a moving resonant filter. You got a toggle switch to switch between the modes, and then four knobs. A mix control, which goes from fully dry to fully wet. A rate control, controls the speed of the chorus. Depth control, controls the depth of the chorus. And then a modulate control, and that does the other thing that happens in each mode. Let's hear what it sounds like. And first, let's talk about how it uses soft touch, relay bypass switching. So don't get any clicks as you turn it on and off, and it just feels really nice to click. And use a standard 9 volt center negative DC power, uh, about a 46 milliamp current draw. We're gonna check out the top mode first. Let's go all knobs at noon. So this is that pitch shifted mode. You can get a really deep chorus that goes really fast. Or really slow. But the fun part is that chorus isn't moving around your dry signal. It's moving around a pitch shifted signal. So right now the modulate knob is at noon, so it's a unison pitch. But if we move it up, that pitch shifts all the way up to a full octave up. So with the mix at noon, you're going to hear your dry signal, and then the octave up, and then the chorus around that octave up. You move it down, it goes all the way to an octave down. So this mode is going to sound pretty familiar to people that are familiar with the uh, original reflector. Uh, it's just a little bit tweaked to sound, sound a little softer and actually goes a little further, goes a little faster in the rate control and the sweep of the knob is uh, changed a little bit so you can get a lot, uh, you can sweep through your slower rates more easily and then still get really fast. So now this middle mode, going to sound familiar too. So we did the same changes with the rate and depth where it goes super deep, goes a little bit faster than before, but the sweep of each of those controls, uh, basically each of those controls lives in a more normal range for more of the knob turn. So you gotta, get, you gotta get up pretty high for it to get silly sounding, but it still gets silly sounding. If you've got the modulate knob all the way down, this is uh, the same, basically the same as the original middle mode from the reflector. The fun of the modulating knob in the middle mode is it now adds a reverb signal. And the reverb is before your chorus. So we'll blend in some of that and hear what it does. About a third of the way up, you just hear those little splashy echoes. Further up longer, more stretched out. Turn modulate all the way up, and now the chorus is only on that reverb. Dry signal isn't affected. So we'll bring our depth down, rate down. Just get some really washed out chorusy reverb sounds. If we bring the mix all the way up, You'll hear how your attack is totally gone because you don't have any dry signal and it's all reverb signal with chorus on it. it. Just has a really nice bloom to it. Now let's check out the bottom mode. It's called mirrors. So in this mode you have two things, a chorus and a moving filter. They're both affected by the rate knob, but the filter is always going to move at a quarter of the speed of the chorus. So if we turn our modulating knob all the way down, there's no depth on that filter, so it eliminates the filter entirely. We'll bring the depth up on the chorus, just to hear some of the normal chorus sounds that are available in this mode as well. Bring the depth all the way up, and you'll hear how it gets really seasick. This is the the deepest chorus available in the reflector. 
can get super fast again. But if we bring it back down, back to just seasick warbles. So we'll bring that chorus step down a little bit, start to bring in the modulate knob. So the modulate basically controls the top frequency that that moving filter will sweep to. So if you bring it up a little bit, you hear a moving filter through your the low end of your signal. Bring it up a little bit higher, it starts to hit those resonant mid frequencies. Bring it all the way up, just a long, deep sweep. We'll max out the rate. That's as fast as that filter will get. We'll bring it back so it moves a little slower and bring up the depth to show how that depth is moving, the chorus is moving four times as fast as the filter. So you get this weird combination of a very fast, deep vibrato -y sound and a long, slow filter. If you bring them all the way back, it sounds like a nice chorus with just a little extra movement to it. So another feature of the Reflector V3 is its expression control. So the expression jack allows you to plug in an expression pedal to control either the rate or modulate parameters with your foot. And there's a, a switch inside the pedal that allows you to choose which one is controlled by that expression jack. So right now it's set to the modulate knob. And one of my favorite things to do with this new reflector is to bring the rate all the way down on the bottom mode, which is called mirrors. And we'll plug in that expression jack. And now you have a fixed filter and your foot controls where it is. So it's basically like a wah pedal now. So check out the uh, top mode. So now the expression is still going to control the modulate knob, uh, but the modulate knob is now going to control the pitch shift. It'll go from an octave down all the way to an octave up. Bring in some of that rate. Bring the depth up so your pitch never quite lands. Another thing you can do with the expression, set it to that middle mode, it's called washed, and you can uh, blend in the reverb with your foot. So bring it all the way forward, it's all reverb, all the way back, no reverb at all. That is Reflector V3. Dan explains it all. Brady on guitar. Let's listen.